Hello everyone and here is another quick lesson on double stops. Today I want to show you a simple idea that I like to use um, over the G chord for example. Um, you know we're playing a G chord here at the third fret like this F, F sharp G or full big bar chord okay but we don't play uh, the, the first string, we don't play the fourth string, fifth string, sixth string, we only play two strings, the second and the third. So that will be this note and this note. D and B, index, second string, third fret, and B, middle finger, third string, fourth fret. Now, that, that's a double stop that works over a G chord, right? And now I can move that fingering up three frets, like this, okay, just three frets up, and of course that, I don't know, maybe that, that's a, a B flat, right, but in my case I prefer to think of that fingering, um, the, those two notes, like a G7, in fact if I add the ring finger here, I have a nice G7, right, but I'm not playing the first string, so that's all I need, so again I like to go from the third fret up to the sixth fret and play with these double stops over a G chord. You can slide into them, you can go backward, or uh, you can alternate between the second and the third string. All right, now that's a movable idea, right? Uh, if I go to the fifth fret, that's an A, so I just repeat, I go like this, this is my first double stop, and I slide up three frets, and that's like an A7, or F, and, uh, and F7. Um, you can also go and play this over a C chord, and uh, here at the eighth fret, so. All right, so now let me show you how I like to use this idea in uh, turking the straw in the B part. Uh, you know in the B part we have a G followed by a C chord that uh, sounds like this. something like that. So I, I've been using the same idea twice, first time over the G chord and the second time over the C chord. And from there you need to find some other ideas to, to probably something, I played something around the melody, I know that I, from there I want to target uh, the A note. Da, ba, ba, da, 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 da. something like that or, or an octave higher and that's an A as well and then uh, you need uh, an ending lick and you're done and that's the B part of Turk in the Straw. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson, uh, let me know in the comments, uh, give this video a like if you did and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah let me know in the comments if you, if you are using this simple idea double stops idea and uh, and uh, how you like to use it all right i will see you in the next video ciao ciao